Welcome back to On Point from the Somerdale Church of Christ. In the month of August, we are going through the Proverbs. There's 31 chapters, and so we have 31 days in this month to consider one each day. And we are now to Proverbs chapter 6. There are lots of good passages in this chapter. In fact, one of my boy's favorite passages is when he says, Go to the ant, you sluggard. Uh, In other words, go and find an ant and see how strong and willing they are to serve and uh, then complain, if you will, about why you're so lazy. The other section here that's probably the most famous of all the Proverbs is found in chapter 6, beginning uh, at verse 16, where it talks about the seven things that the Lord hates. But what I want us to focus on is this theme that begins in verse 20. Now, it's echoed several times throughout the Proverbs, but this is really where Solomon is really grinding in this point, that he does not want his children to be engaged in inappropriate relationships. In fact, he focuses on adultery several times. And you you often wonder why Solomon would spend so much time talking about sexuality and talking about adultery and fornication and some of those things in this list of Proverbs when mostly these are, there are, are some moral laws and some messages of integrity. But why is this such a common theme? He knew that his boys would be tempted uh, as he had built up a quite a harem himself. Solomon had all these women running around his house. And so he wants his boys to understand this is not what, just because I've done it doesn't mean you should. And he's telling them to be careful what they look on, uh, how quickly they are tempted by evil. And it is a challenge to us to be careful. Consider your entertainment. Consider the music you listen to. Consider uh, the movies you watch. Think about the influence that that has on you and also on those around you. I don't know if you may be struggling with something in uh, in this particular realm, let's say fornication or pornography or something like that. You still have an opportunity before Jesus comes again to repent of those things and let them go. Uh, Solomon's warning to his children here, they should have heeded. Don't spend time involved in such inappropriate relationships and inappropriate behavior because judgment is coming. I hope that you'll encourage someone today to get deep into the Word of God, tell them about your relationship with Jesus, and encourage people to follow the Lord. Thank you so much for tuning in to On Point.